All right, what's up, Scorpio? And welcome back to part two of this video, you guys. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and jump in. So, Scorpio, before I got started, I felt like I was led to share this with someone, okay? Just by what the topic is. I feel like some of you guys that's on this journey, you're in this energy if you're ready to walk away from your twin, but some of you guys are having a hard time. Let me share my little story with you guys, and we're going to get back into this read, okay? So... Scorpio, when I walked away from my twin, let me tell you how it happened. I knew I was led to do it, okay? So, me and my twin, our communication, we did a lot of our communication on Facebook, okay? Um, we're from the same town, you know what I'm saying? My twin, we really go back 20 years ago. Like, this is somebody I dealt with when I was a teenager, you know what I'm saying? So, if you guys have been hearing different twin flame stories about twins that went back 20 years ago, that's, that's probably me, Scorpio. But anyway... I just got tired of the same stuff dealing with my twin. One, it was like my twin didn't know how to talk to me. And it was like every time he always approached me, it was in this sexual energy. You know what I'm saying? And at the beginning of the twin flame journey, it was cool because the sex was good and I was wanting sex. But after a while, the sex wasn't enough. You know what I'm saying? I was looking for more. And he couldn't offer me that. You know what I'm saying? So... Scorpio, it took me like two or three months to finally shut down my Facebook account. Like, I haven't been on Facebook since... March of this year, I think is when my page officially got shut down, you know what I'm saying? But I, it took me a minute. I would delete my page, and then the next week I'll go back and, because you got 30 days, you know what I'm saying, to delete your page for it's completely deleted. And before them 30 days, you know what I'm saying, I will always go back and just check and see if you don't send a message or something like that, you know what I'm saying? And then after a while, I was just like, F it, you know what I'm saying? It was like I, it was like I was looking forward, you know what I'm saying? At first, I used to dread them 30 days, Scorpio, and then it was like I started looking forward. I couldn't wait till them 30 days was up because I didn't want to see that fool face no more. You know what I'm saying? So after that happened, Scorpio, I, I felt relieved because I knew I wouldn't get that same energy, and I was looking for a different type of energy, Scorpio. So maybe they'll help somebody out there. Some of you guys, you can maybe communicate with your twin online, block them, change your number, Scorpio. You know what I'm saying? Do whatever you have to do that's going to make it easier, okay? Then we have, is this person showing me their true colors, okay? So some of you guys, maybe you recently encountered your twin, you know what I'm saying? Or you're trying to figure out, is your tr is your twin, you know, the things that they're showing you, maybe this person's love bombing you or they're, you know what I'm saying, just got you all on cloud nine, but then, you know, they'll do some different things and have you looking like, well, what the hell? You know, so you're trying to figure out, is your twin really being their true, authentic self? Is this person, is this how this person really is, you know what I'm saying? Or them acting cold and detached, you know what I'm saying? Is this person really cold and detached? Or, you know what I'm saying, is this person going through something or, you know, something bothering this person? Am I ignoring the red flags or signs? Okay, some of you guys, you could be getting, like I just said, red flags, signs, because... You know, for some of you, like I said, your twin could be love bombing you. They could have love bombed you. You know what I'm saying? Just gave you all this love and attention and everything. All of a sudden, they just took that shit back. And you was like, what the hell? You know what I'm saying? So, or for some of you guys, like I said, your twin could have been someone that was very detached. You know what I'm saying? They had, like, they didn't have emotions and feelings and all that type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? So, it was like, you, you're like, dang, did I ignore those red flags? Did I, did I ignore the signs that was trying to warn me about my twin here? Let's get one more message, and we're going to pull some tarot, you guys. If anything is resonating for you, don't forget to like this video, Scorpio. Then we have, am I aligning myself with people who will elevate me, okay? So some of you guys on this journey, you know, you're at this point of your life. You're ready for something new. You know what I'm saying? You're ready maybe for new friends or new... Or you just pay, maybe paying more attention to your surroundings and the people that you're with. And it's like you're trying to elevate. You're trying to do some... Some great things in your life, but you're not sure if these people that you're around right now, these people that you're with, Scorpio, if they're trying to do the, the same, you know what I'm saying? Like what they say, birds of a feather flock together, you know? So if you're not aligning yourself to, with other people, Scorpio, that's trying to be great, you know what I'm saying? Or trying to do good things in their life or making moves in Scorpio, maybe it's time to move around from them, you know? Because look at your friends. If they're not people that's elevating, that you see are doing good for themselves, even that's maybe encouraging you or influencing you, Scorpio, to do better, then they may not be the friends you need to be around. You know what I'm saying? I don't got no friends, Scorpio. You know what I'm saying? Well, I got one friend. That's my spiritual advisor. That's the person that told me I was on this twin flame journey. But other than that, I don't talk to nobody. You know what I'm saying? Because... The people I was around, wasn't nobody doing nothing. Everybody stagnant. Everybody content. Not one Scorpio. I was trying to be great. And I want to be around people that's already great. They can teach me what greatness looks like. Or they can help me get the great. You know what I'm saying? All right. So let's see what's going on on this journey. Okay. So for some of you guys, communication between you and your twin 
is blocked right now, okay? So some of you, maybe you changed your number, they changed their number, or this person is wanting to reach out, this person is wanting to talk to you, but something could be blocking them from communicating to you at this time with this Eight of Wands energy, okay? Some of you guys could be coming with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. So, Spirit, can you tell us about the Eight of Wands? What is keeping my Scorpio's twin or their divine counterpart from communicating with them at this time? Can you tell me more about the Eight of Wands, Spirit? All right, so King of Pentacles. Okay, so right now, Scorpio, this person, the reason why you may not be communicating on them, okay, maybe they're trying to work on their stability. You know what I'm saying? Maybe they're trying to get their money right. They're trying to become this King of Pentacles, this Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, the Capricorn. Like I said, if I don't say the sign, you guys, that still doesn't mean this isn't your story. These are just energies, okay? But this person could be trying to focus on their money. But also, the King of Pentacles is someone, Scorpio, that will work so hard and focus on their money just so they don't have to think about love. You know what I'm saying? Or think about heartache and pain, okay? So tell us more about the Eight of Wands, Spirit. What is, what is keeping my, my twin, my Scorpio's twin from communicating for them at this time? All right, for some of you guys, your twin could be healing, okay? They're in this star energy. You can be dealing with an Aquarius here, okay? But your twin is trying to take time, one, I feel like to pour into their own cup, okay? Because you guys, remember we had here, you know, your twin was a people pleaser, okay? This is someone that will always do things to please other people, you know, before they please themselves, okay? So this is someone now that could be focusing on healing. They're taking time to put back and pour back into their cup, okay? This could have been someone, Scorpio, that always poured into everyone else's cup, but they never took the time to pour back in their cup, okay? So some of you guys, this person could be healing. You know, they're working on their finances. This person is healing, maybe from a heartbreak. Can you tell us more about the star sphere? What is this person healing from? Can you tell us more about the star sphere? What is this person healing from here? Okay. Hmm, it's okay. This person could be healing so they can come in and communicate to you with this night of sports energy. Okay, some of you guys could be dealing with the air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, okay? So this person could be healing. They're trying to work on their stability. They're trying to get their finances together because this person wants to come rushing in. And for some of you guys, this person has some type of truth that they need to tell you because we know sports talks about communication and, and mental thinking, okay? But the night of sports, this person wants to come rushing in because they may have some type of truth to tell you, Scorpio, okay? All right, because remember, we was trying to figure out this person was being their true, authentic self. So let's see what signs you guys could be dealing with. We have Aries, Aquarius, Leo, and Scorpio. I love you, Scorpio, and stay blessed.